Welcome to the Simple Truth Hour. My name is Pastor Samuel Sumwa Asante, and we go into the Word of God, which teaches us, rebukes, corrects, and instructs us in the way of righteousness, so that the child of God will be perfect, thoroughly furnished unto every good work. Our topic for today is Do Not Memor, Part 2. Now, King Scripture, John chapter 6, verse 43. Jesus therefore answered and said unto them, Memor not among yourselves. Memoring is making sounds undertone, yet it involves speaking negative words. The Bible places it among evil speaking. Ephesians chapter 4, verse 31. Let all bitterness and wrath and anger and clamor and evil speaking be put away from you with all malice. We are advised to put such speaking away from us. In Mark 7, 20, the Lord said, from out of within the heart proceed evil thoughts and other wrong actions. He concluded his point in verse 23 by saying, all these things come from within and defile the man. To defile means to make common or make unclean. This is the reason devils find memory individuals easy or ready habitations to dwell in. The next thing you must know about memory is that it is a sin. The Bible says in Romans chapter 14, verse 23, that whatsoever action that is not of faith is sin. This makes this act of memory very serious. The danger of it is that it challenges the wisdom and integrity of God. Just consider the following strong words God used for those who were murmuring in Moses' time. Psalm 78, verse 8. And might not be as their fathers, a stubborn and rebellious generation, a generation that set not their heart aright, and whose spirit was not steadfast with God. Memories are one, stubborn, two, rebellious, three, do not see, do not set their hearts aright unto God. Then four, their spirit is not steadfast with God. The next thing of memory is that it establishes the very wrong thing the individual says in his or her life. The principle of salvation says, when one believes a truth and confesses with his lips, it manifests in his or her life. Romans 10, 9 and 10. Mark 11, 23. Memory proceeds from believing that negative thought about a thing and then muttering it on your lips. In this way, you have established the spiritual principle of bringing the condition and reality in your very life. If you remember about a delayed childbirth or any other thing, you establish the delay further in your life. Now, where are some of the areas that people do remember? One, when their expectations seem to fail. Two, when people do not understand the actions of their leaders and super superiors. Three, when adversity hits at people, example, failure of some kind. Four, when certain tasks seem too much for one to do. Five, when subjects become unbearable and unnecessarily difficult. This happens to pastors, leaders, or bosses. If it has to do with people causing you to murmur, then pray for them. If it relates to God, then thank him for making all things well. If it's about a difficult task, then declare you can do all things to Christ which strengthens you. Just make up your mind never to murmur. Amen. Now thoughts. Memory is a choice, so refuse to murmur. Memory is a choice, so refuse to Memma, Psalm 78, verse 18. 
And they tempted God in their hearts by asking meat for their last. Yea, they spoke against God. They said, can God furnish a table in the wilderness? Then chapter 5 verse 13. Is any among you afflicted? Let him pray. Is any merry? Let him sing psalms. I thank God for once again this opportunity to come your way with his word. I pray for you. I pray that you be strengthened in your inner man, that your heart will be set right, that you will learn to choose never to murmur, that in all things you will give thanks unto God and live above every situation and walk in the peace and in the joy of the Lord. I declare you blessed, blessed in every area of your life. I speak peace into your life in Jesus' mighty name. Amen.